Vlogs, welcome back to my channel. This is Nikita, aka Miss Beauty 23. And if you're new here, hi, aloha, or welcome. And as you guys know, the usual on this platform, we mainly focus on skincare. It's not the only thing that we tackle here, but this is our base platform, guys. We talk about skincare, beauty on a whole, raw, authentic beauty, not just physical beauty, dissecting beauty from the inside out, learning to understand ourselves as individuals. So if you're into all of that, if that's your neck of the woods, guys, then I suggest that you subscribe right now. Yes, subscribe. And of course, like this video because you know it's good for the YouTube algorithm and share because sharing is caring. Tell a friend to tell a friend to come watch next time. And of course, leave some comments down below with some suggestions, some ideas, questions, whatever it is, what, whatever concerns, whatever concerns you might have, feel free to leave them in the comment sections once they are, of course, appropriate. No, moving into today's Just video. before I start the video, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my personal channel, which is Beauty23. Yes, Beauty23. And that, and that channel, it's more like a freestyle channel where we do a little bit of personal development, a little bit of entertainment, you know what I mean? We tackle current affairs, all of that stuff. So if you're into all that, guys, subscribe to that channel as well. And also, follow me on my socials, which is just one social, at Instagram at I am underscore Nikita Wilson and my business page at skin obsession underscore by underscore nikita for facial treatments online or offline consultations just dm us send us a dm to book your appointment we do offer virtual consultation if you're not within our proximity if you're in a different parish or different country but you want our assistance feel free to dm us so we can organize that meeting all right guys so without further ado let's get into the video what we're going to be talking about today guys is some very effective tools that we can use to terminate blackheads no guys when we're talking about blackhead blackheads are a very proverbial topic you know what i mean everybody speaks about blackheads and um the issues that they might have with it once you're a human being once your skin is secreting oil it doesn't matter if it's dry oily combination you're bound to get blackhead at some point in your life no it's not the worst thing but it, it sometimes can be a little bit stressful if you don't know how to treat this condition accordingly no blackhead is pretty much caused by the production of bacteria mixed with oil in your pore tunnels that cause your skin to not only break out but this block blocks your pore of tunnels. course causes the pore to become wide open leaving your oil to be exposed to environmental stresses. Once it's exposed to environmental stresses, UV ray light from the sun, pollutants out of the atmosphere, it oxidizes. What do I mean by this? It turns black, guys. And when it, once it oxidizes and it turns black, then that's how the blackhead is formed. The top is usually hard in touch. And once it's, once it's extracted from the skin, there's a little bit of mixture of, of oil and bacteria in the root of the, um, the pore. Now, as stated before guys blackheads aren't the worst thing once you know how to treat it properly you can definitely definitely you know fight off potential blackheads that might hit you in the what are some of the skin types that are mainly affected by this condition for one oily skin two combination type skin no i believe that even if you have dry skin or dehydrated skin or sensitive skin at some point you might have a few blackheads in your skin but it's not as prevalent as if when you would have these these skin type guys having oily skin or a combination type skin where you know that your skin is secreting more oil than usual and of course once it's secreting more oil than usual this comes to the surface of your skin and it basically attracts whatever dust pollutant out of the atmosphere and um, dead skin cells as well because once our skin starts to away these dead skin cells once it's reached the cartonization process then these dead skin cells are manifested in the atmosphere believe it or not and now of course once we're out on a boat this is what we consider to be a pollutant in the atmosphere. You know what I mean? It comes under that category. Once you're out on a boat, then it comes. It's, it's basically works like a magnet. The oily skin works like a dirt magnet where it attracts all of that bacteria, all of that pollutant onto the skin. And this is why it's important for you to cleanse properly. You know what I mean? And of course, you try to find products, specific products that will help to regulate the production of sebum into the skin. You don't want to dry out the skin, but something that will help your skin to find leverage, as, as what I normally would talk about. But today's topic is about finding some products or tools, tools in particular, that can help to not only fight potential blackheads, but if you're facing this issue currently, help you to, of course, uh, treat it. Tool number one using a comedone suction machine no i can talk for this one i use this one myself the comedone suction machine I, it, it serves like a little 
vacuum cleaner, in, in my own words, where it sucks out as much comedones, black and white heads, as it can find as possible. Now, it won't eliminate everything, but trust me, it does play a vital role once the skin is pretty steamed up, you know what I mean, and those dead skin cells are very soft and heated, then it's easy for it to suck it out and remove it from the skin, guys. So this is a tool that you can use. It's very budget friendly and it's also online, you know. What tool I mean? number two, guys. Plain old, plain old extractor, using a metal extractor. No, I would suggest that if you're not fully aware of how to use a, an extractor, don't use one. Seek professional help because if this, if this little tool is not used properly, guys, you can cause discoloration, hyperpigmentation, severe scarring. You can cause your skin to get pitted. You can cause the skin to have indentures in it what we, we would refer to as pitted skin. You don't want any of that, causing any tissue scarring into the skin. So if you're not fully aware as to how to use the metal extractor, seek professional help, see your dermatologist, or go visit your esthetician. Once you use these, these little tiny metals, what it was created pretty much to manually remove blackhead from the skin. You have different types for different types of comedone onto the skin. And for, for the whiteheads in particular, you might have a little extractor they, they normally would come in, in a little package, right? And you have different styles, and there's one, one with a little point on it, like a needle point, that's mainly used for whiteheads, right? To, to create like a, an entrance into the skin if these, these comedones aren't visible, but yet still you can feel them under the skin. And we would refer to these as lancets. Guys, as stated before, if you're not fully aware as to how to use this, because there is a proper technique as to how to use this to prevent scarring into the skin, seek professional help. And of course, I will drop a demo in my next video or a video down in the near future as to how to properly use an extractor. Tool number three, guys, using a blackhead scrubber. Now, this somewhat kind of works similar to the, the suction, but it's just two different techniques. The suction obviously suck, while this one now uses ultrasonic vibration to basically pull bacteria or pull those comedones from your pores. Now, as stated before, it's best to use these products after you've steamed the skin because you want to. Steaming is a part of the, the facial process and this is pretty much you prepping the skin, getting the skin ready for extraction, you know, soften up those dead skin cells and getting the skin ready to remove all of those dirt and those gunk. Just so you know, guys, your pores do not open or close. There's no physical mechanism that proves that it open or close. What, what really happens is that once your skin comes in contact with heat, then it causes those, the surface of your skin to become soft and saturated and just very vulnerable to whatever treatment that you might apply onto it. Now, for item number four, this is not considered a tool, but in, in my book it is. <laughs> it's more like a product. We're talking about salicylic acid. There's no way I could forget this. No, this is the gods of all gods when it comes on to eliminating bacteria from the skin and helping those pores to stay clean and just, you know, bacteria free. Now, what the salicylic does, this basically comes under the beta hydroxy family acid, right? Now, the salicylic acid basically is oil soluble, so that means that it goes down into your pores and dissolves the bacteria effortlessly that causes breakout into the skin. The salicylic acid is, was designed mainly for persons that have combination and oily skin type because this product is, as stated before, is oil based. The salicylic acid is used in small proportions once applied onto the skin. Well, the face in particular. Now, if it's not one, it's 2% on the face. Never go above that because you're not trying to enter into the staging in the peeling stage because these acids do peel the skin depending on uh, the proportion or the, um, the intensity of the product. Now, in regards to just helping to dissolve those bacteria, you need maybe like a 1 or 2% salicylic acid and I definitely recommend that you not start with just the raw acid itself in the liquid form. You can start with maybe like a pad. A pad. They do come in um, pad form. Or you can start with specific products that have a little bit of salicylic acid in it. Something that you can wash off the skin first. Maybe, maybe like, like, a, like a mask or a cleanser that has salicylic acid in it. And it, Because remember that you're now introducing this new product into, onto your skin. So you don't know how your skin is going to reciprocate to this product. So you want to make sure that your skin is going to reciprocate to this product and just accept this product nicely. So you start slowly low low and you just gradually build your way up all right guys no and for our final 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 product our fifth and final product we're talking about bpo benzoyl peroxide no guys with the bpo this is the only active ingredient slash product that is known to kill bacteria from the source why because this basically pulls oxygen onto the skin bacteria cannot strive in an era where there is 
oxygen. So therefore, if this is going to be pulling oxygen onto the skin, it's going to be killing that bacteria, right? It, it is known to be very effective on comedones as well, black and white heads. So you can get your products, just like the salicylic acid that has a small percentage of BPO in it, and you slowly but surely, gradually, you know, up those products once you see how your skin reciprocates to it. You don't want to overuse the salicylic, sorry, the BPO either because if you use the BPO too much or high, at, a, at a high percentage, it can cause the skin to become very thin and you don't want that guys. So I hope you guys found value in this video because your girl is over here doing mad research, mad reading, mad studying just so she can deliver information to my valid subscribers to solve whatever issues you might be having. I hope you guys found value into this video and don't forget guys to like, subscribe, comment and share. Sharing is scaring and acne is something that you know we're all dealing with. It doesn't matter if it's severe or mild acne. At some point in our life we do face even if it's one or two bumps we face it and if we can help each other if we can help to find solutions together what a better world this place would be you know what i mean guys so this is me signing out for now my beauty bugs and don't forget to be bold and beautiful bye my beautiful